The first Gremlins movie came out in 1984, the sequel six years later in 1990, I did the math. You're welcome. What boggles my mind is there hasn't been a third installment. I put this uh, franchise in the same category as Ghostbusters, so I guess it's only a matter of time before it's rebooted with an all-female cast. For now though, let's feud these two classics. It's Gremlins 1 versus Gremlins 2 on Movie Feuds. Both Gremlins films follow Billy Peltzer and his lovable Mogwai Gizmo. Billy is played by actor Zach Galligan, who I've never seen in anything outside of these two movies. I did check out his IMDb page, and he's getting steady work since the 80s, so good for him. The more popular draw comes from sex icon Phoebe Cates as his girlfriend. Corey Feldman's in the picture too, and he's just as lovable as always. The sequel offers a few notable additions, such as the late, great Christopher Lee as a mad scientist, and Robert Prosky as Billy's grandpa. I could have done without that side story as it just bogs down the picture and doesn't really add any value to the story. John Glover as CEO Daniel Clamp, however, is a lot of fun. But we, the audience, just really want to see those wacky gremlins cause chaos everywhere they go. Gizmo seems almost sidelined in number two after watching it again recently, but his John Rambo impression is on fleek. What the sequel does very well is give the gremlins individual personalities this time. Especially the borderline retarded one who has a mean case of the crazy eyes. The thing is just a spaz. The true genius comes from the lab when the gremlins start chugging the different vials. Spider gremlin's downright scary and bad gremlin of course goes out like a boss. My favorite is the one that turns into a genius, but on the other end of the spectrum we have a gremlin who drinks a vial of the female anatomy or something, goes full on Caitlyn Jenner. While Gremlins 2 is not near as scary as the first, that female gremlin is a thing of nightmares. It wouldn't have been so bad except the movie ends with what appears to be consensual intercourse between a human and this freak of nature. There's one made of vegetables and another of pure electricity to round out the crew. They may not be as scary in this second outing, but they're a hell of a lot of fun. The plot of Gremlins is pretty straightforward. Billy gets a new pet from his uh, inventor father from some sketchy ass place in the bad part of town that apparently sells merchandise that's catered to psychos. The gift of course comes with some rules and it becomes clear pretty on that Billy is the worst pet owner on the planet, especially by the time the sequel rolls around. A mogwai cannot under any circumstances get wet, it can't eat after midnight, and it can't be out in the sun. The same rules apply to pretty much any porn star over the age of 40. Naturally, Billy can't even last a few nights before he utterly fails at these simple tasks, and the next thing you know there's a small litter of these little shitheads roaming the house. I freaking love how all these little offspring of Gizmo hate him so much, and they do everything in their power to make his life hell. They owe their entire existence to him, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, the small town gets turned into shambles in one night thanks to these little freaks before Billy and Gizmo can turn the lights on. I know Gremlins 2 turned off some fans of the first due to its much wackier tone. It's a funny movie where the first one balances that more with some scarier aspects. Number 2 was intentionally campy and very much a parody of itself. You have to give the movie props for going a different direction and not just rehashing the first movie like most sequels do. It put itself out there. It's in a new city. It's got new characters. It pokes fun at the original's rules, such as the whole time zone thing when mentioning midnight feedings. This time he can't even make it home with the little mogwai before it all goes to shit. What, what was he possibly thinking leaving the thing unattended in an office building by itself. I don't understand. Gizmo takes a shot of water to the face and the rest is history. It was a nice touch using the electric gremlin from earlier to take out the rest of the gang. Even better was doing it right after they finished their beautiful rendition of New York, New York. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I wanna be a part of it. It's just a great send off to the whole, what, what the hell? What, what, what is, what, what's going on? No, 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 I just got this new set. They're screwing it all up. Taft, stop them. Taft! Jerry Goldsmith composed the mischievous and incredibly catchy score for the Gremlins along with Gizmo's theme song. Howie Mandel, who voices the little tyke, doesn't actually hum the song. Instead, Goldsmith had a childhood actress slash acquaintance of his. Yeah. Yeah, I also do some research on this show from time to time. The action in both flicks is quite believable thanks to amazing effects work done by Chris Wallace and his team. He didn't go back to work on the new batch, but Academy Award winner Chris Baker took the helm and knocked it out of the park. The first film features gremlins getting frappéed, microwaved, and just blown to kingdom coming back. The second though has my favorite kill, which sees a gremlin going through a paper shredder. And just green blood flying this way and that. It's a good, it's a good time.
let's, let's close this down. There are always rumors flying around this way and that, that there's going to be a third Gremlins on the way. It's going to be a sequel, a follow-up to the first two, and I, I for one am happy to hear they're not just going to reboot this thing. There are certain properties that just can't be replaced. Gremlins still holds up remarkably well with terrific suspense, brilliant puppetry, amazing music, and plenty of laughs. If a third ever does see the light of day, I hope those involved remember what made these pictures so great. The big question every time we do this though is which one is better? I want to hear from you. Comment, vote, and remember, this is more than just reviews, this is movie feuds. And my my staff's my staff's dead. Okay. Well, that's just that's just great.